Hello and welcome to this Formlabs webinar. This is a shortened version of the original broadcast. If you'd like to view the content in full, please click on the link below. Right now, here's our agenda. Do a quick welcome, quick housekeeping, and then we'll get ready to do it. The agenda for today is we'll start with uh, the printer and the workflow, then we'll move into uh, software, and then we'll finish up with materials, and then we should have some time at the end for Q&A. Uh, just quick intro. I'll let uh, all these guys introduce themselves as we go. My name is Dan Kirschgesner. I'm the partnerships manager here at Formlabs. Um, joined by Greg from our software team, uh, Paris from Materials, and Layden uh, from our uh, kind of products uh, team and services team. Uh, really grateful to have all these guys here with us today, and also my colleague Annie for running the back end of the, the Zoom. Really appreciate it. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Layden, SLA product expert. Uh, what that means. I am uh, one of the people that you are in contact with if you ever need help, you know, starting a print, uh, seeing what went wrong with a print, or if your printer is making a weird noise or anything like that, um, we're here to help you. So that's what I do on the day to day. All right. So today we'll be taking a peek at the hardware driving our newest printers, the Form 3 Plus and our large format Form 3L, along with our other key products that round out the hardware ecosystem. And here we have the Form 3 Plus, our newest flagship printer. Um, a flexible tank dramatically reduces forces on parts, consistently delivering incredible detail and unbelievable surface finish. The light processing unit, or LPU, maintains a uniform high-density laser spot to ensure accurate, repeatable parts, enhanced light, light touch supports, and quick-release technology detach parts with ease and seconds. Quickly go from design to finish parts with precisely tuned settings for every material, Integrated sensors help maintain ideal print conditions. And finally, 3D print from anywhere via the online dashboard. So Form 3L, this is our large format printer. Form 3L has a build volume five times the size of the Form 3 Plus. Blaze through large parts with two custom designed light processing units or LPUs. Two lasers simultaneously build large, dense parts, parts fast. High professional quality, ease of use, reliability, and versatility. Integrated sensors help maintain ideal print conditions and send you alerts about the state of your machine. And utilize two resin cartridges to go longer without running out of resin. So the Form 3 has one resin cartridge you can slot in the back. The Form 3L has two that you can put on the side there. And it'll help you keep track of you know, how low you're getting. You won't have to worry about running out of resin. And just for context, the build volume on this one is 13.2 by 7.9 by 11.8 inches. So it's pretty pretty good size for uh, print volume there. All right, so how do we do it? So traditionally with SLA, you fill a large vat full of resin and your printed part will come out, it wastes a lot. We do it differently, inverted SLA. Um, it's a game changer for us. It's low cost, high performance and detail, less waste and more efficient. With this system though, parts need to be prepared and you might ask why they need to be prepared before the print process. So our inverted SLA technology is designed to generate supports that extrude from the part layer by layer as the print comes to life, helping keep parts stable while upside down. So those supports are crucial. The part would be wobbling the entire time. So that's why we need supports um, during the inverted SLA. So low force stereolithography or LFS, um, the Form 3 Plus and 3L use advanced low force stereolithography or LFS. This technology drastically reduces the forces involved with the print process, improving both surface quality and dimensional accuracy. Liquid resin is transformed into cure models using a flexible tank and linear illumination. Those are the two key pieces right there for LFS. The flexible tank is crucial for reducing peel forces, which translates to less stress placed on the part and improved layer adhesion, as well as dimensional accuracy. We're able to improve accuracy as well with linear illumination, which produces a circular laser spot. This is in contrast to the oval shaped laser spot, which is what you would get when the laser fires at an angle. One of the key components of LFS is the LPU. All right, so the LPU or light processing unit, the LPU is composed of a galvanometer that controls the laser's direction as the entire LPU moves across the building area. In this case, the building area would be the X stage um, or the X axis, I should say, and that's what the LPU travels on. And the laser will be firing in the Y axis, so that'll be your back and forward uh, motion with the curing of each layer. Um, this is a self-contained unit. It's user replaceable and it's low maintenance. So what does that mean for our users? Um, if you remember the Form 2, if you had one, 
you, you go in and have to, you know, maintain those galvos, clean them, maybe the main mirror needs a clean or something like that. With the uh, Form 3 Plus and 3L, that is not something you need to worry about. If anything were to go wrong um, with your LPU, we could just send you another one right away, reduce that downtime and get you printing uh, quickly. So that is one of the benefits of having the LPU in the new printers. All right, so here we'll just do a quick overview of the printing process. Um, as you can see there, the build platform on the top lowers the printed part into the resin to the proper layer height. The liquid resin is displaced as the tank film flexes. Once the resin has leveled out, the LPU moves to the layer's x-axis coordinates. The rollers on the LPU push up a small section of the film to keep it taut. And then the module fires the laser out of the optical window and cures the layer in the y-axis. So there you can see a nice, um, that's basically what a layer looks like when it's printing on uh, the 3 plus and the 3L. Only difference would be 3L, you have two lasers or two LPUs going at the same time. So one is in the front and then one is in the back uh, covering that entire build area. So a little bit about the consumables that are used for the printing process. On the left side here, you'll see the resin tank. This will be um, where all the resin is stored dispensed from the resin cartridge that you see on the right side there that just slots into the back of the printer. An ID chip will read what kind of resin you're using. So it'll make sure that you're putting the right one in there and keeping track of how much is left in the resin cartridge. And in the middle here, we have the build platform. And this is where the resin will be cured layer by layer and your part will come out. And you have to, um, I mean, these these consumables have a lifetime, so expect them to be replaced regularly. It's just part of the print workflow. So don't worry if you have to, you know, change your resin tank after um, <laughs> a few hours or, or not a few hours, I'm sorry, like a few weeks of printing um, parts. Uh, it just happens, especially if you're using engineering resins, um, it places more stress. So it's just something to think about um, when you're selecting um, parts for your application. All right. So then here we have build platform two. Um, this is our newest uh, build platform. It's going to help you guys remove parts quicker. It has a flexible print surface and it instantly releases parts, eliminating the risk of damaging those parts using traditional removal tools. Compatible with all form labs materials, including biocompatible resins. And it's built with a gouge free stainless steel print surface, ensuring robust long term durability. And a little bit about how it works there are three sets of magnets, and they're used to align that flexible steel surface and hold it in place. And when it's time to remove that part, you would just push the part release paddles inwards, the release, and this releases the parts from the build platform. And then um, releasing those paddles realigns the surface in preparation for the next print. So basically, if you're using the same resin, um, you don't even have to worry about cleaning it. You can just go ahead and run that again as soon as the part is off of the build platform. So really, it does save you a lot of time. Um, it could it could save you hours in the long run if you're you know running your printer all day. So it it really is a game changer and it helps you guys out uh, with removing those parts. All right, so taking a look here at the form wash and the form cure, this is just part of the um, hardware ecosystem. Um, if you're going to be doing any kind of application that requires you to you know be um, having mechanical properties be at their most reaching their most potential, you'll need a cure, and you'll definitely need to wash those parts um, no matter what you're doing. So we make it easy for you guys with these two. Um, automated part rinsing, form wash, washes your parts using a timer so you can set it and forget it. Improve mechanical properties. Materials reach their full potential after post-curing and form cure. And a streamlined workflow. Parts travel straight from the form 3 plus or 3L to the form wash. So really just uh, streamlines that workflow for you guys. All right, so a little bit about the form wash, so washing your parts. Um, what's included? You get the wash basket, which you can see in the top right there with those little parts in it. Um, there's going to be a hydrometer. That's going to help you measure the um, resin concentration in your IPA, so you'll know when it's time to change it out. Um, there's storage options for your tools on the side, and you also get a siphon pump, which is going to help you guys change that IPA out. You don't have to worry about purchasing it. It all comes included with the uh, form wash. And if you can see on the bottom right there, we have a user just inserting the build platform. So you can do it both ways. You can use the wash basket or you can just insert that build platform and then it'll wash the part. And your part will just automatically raise out of the um, bucket. So you don't have to worry about your part soaking up too much IPA and getting wet or anything like that. Um, it's a pretty simple process. All right, so looking at form cure, this is finalizing your parts. So this stage is the last step in the process to have a fully cured part 
Hearing a printed model um, is not required, but if your application demands parts with optimal chemical properties, then you will need to have that curing stage. It is crucial. So what are the benefits of our form cure? Models will be cured with uniform exposure with the rotating turntable. Heat and 405 nanometer light, um, it will cure the part. So really the heat is the important part here. That's going to be the part that, that cures your model all the way through. And that light is going to be that final little bit to make sure that the part cures. Um, but we do both in our system. So that is the benefit of form cure there. And it also has preset time and temperatures unique to each material. So what does that mean for you? As long as you know what material you're using, you just select it on the form here and it'll it'll automatically do the time and temperature for you. So just put the part in and start it. It's that easy and just take it out when it's done. And finally, we have um, the services and support side of this. This is part of the hardware ecosystem because if you have any issues with uh, your printer or just setting up a print or anything like that, this is included with your printer purchase essentially. And you have access to the best support in the industry. Our agents can be reached through email or chat, and our users can expect a reply within a few hours. We also have a feature on the printers that asks you how your print turns out. Um, if you hit a thumbs up, you can just go on your way and start the next print. If you feel like it could have come out a little better, you can hit the thumbs down, and it'll automatically create a QR code case for you. So it'll gather information about your printer. All you have to do is scan the QR code on your phone, and we'll get a case automatically generated with your info and it just makes it that much simpler and easy to get going because you've reduced that downtime not having to worry about that and that's all included with the standard um the standard support if you want to take it up to the next level we have our pro service plan as well and with that you would get a customized live training session phone support faster reply times and a hot swap replacement if your printer needs to be sent to our repair facility um, hardware support is just <laughs> An aspect of our hardware ecosystem and I can say with confidence that Forum Labs has the best hardware support in this space so you guys really are getting a complete package when you buy into the, the Form 3 and 3L ecosystem. Appreciate it and uh, with that we'll pass it off to uh, to Greg to talk through some software. Cool. Hi everyone uh, my name is Greg Holman I'm a software product manager here at Form Labs. What that really means is I'm working with the engineering teams the software engineering teams and others to define what the roadmap for, for features are for the software products we put out. Uh, speaking of which, uh, today I wanna talk through some of our software products and how they work and how they work together. So we have three main software products. The, Dan, if you want to build one more. Uh, the first one is uh, Preform. Preform is a desktop-based job preparation software. Uh, so it's where you're gonna first bring in all of your, your 3D files and, and start setting them up and getting them ready to print. The second one, uh, not on the screen, but uh, it's our embedded firmware, uh, and that's the on printer software. So that's everything from what makes the motors move and also what the UI, like how we develop the UI and, and kind of what you see from a user interface and a user experience side. Uh, and the third one is, is Dashboard. Dashboard is our web-based job monitoring tool. So it's a web-based and it, it provides you with all the information about the jobs that you're printing currently. I have printed uh, and, and looking to print going forward. So with that said, I'm going to actually go into a live demo with Preform, and we'll kind of go through the the end to end here. Let's get this going. Okay, um, so open up Preform. Uh, Preform is a free application that we provide with uh, for our printers. Um, it's specifically designed for Formlabs printers and has a, a ton of tools to really help you get off the ground. And then as you develop further and further in advance, you can really grow into the tools even deeper. Um, first thing I like to do when I go into Preform, I mean, you guys can't see part of my screen, but uh, the first thing I like to do is make sure I'm signed to the dashboard. At the bottom right side of, uh, bottom left side of Preform, uh, you'll see uh, this little circle. It's my account and I'm signed in. Uh, the benefit of doing that is you can remote print. So I can print from anywhere. I don't just have to be on the same network as the printer. I can print from home. So sometimes I'll make sure the printer's all set up. I'll go home and set up a job and send it so it can print overnight. It's a great tool. Um, it also makes it easier to, to monitor the job through Preform. So uh, once I'm signed in the dashboard, I'll make sure it's up on the Preform item here. Uh, and I want to set up my job. So I know what I'm going to do. I know what kind of resin I want to print in. So I'll go into job setup over here. And this is setting up the global parameters for the job. So first, I'm going to print, pick my printer. Um, in this case, 
I'm going to actually use one of our Berlin print farms. So these are a new tool called um, printer groups, and each one just has a, a number of printers under it that it can utilize, uh, and I can send to a larger group without having to, to pick and choose which ones I want to use. Uh, so for the print I'm going to set up, I want to use Gray V4. I really like the, the fine detail, the, the finish, uh, and I've just had a lot of success with Gray, so I'm really uh, going to go with that. Uh, next step, uh, choosing a layer thickness. So for this print, I want to go for the fastest possible, so I'm going to go with the largest layer thickness, so 160 microns. But uh, for some prints, I really want to have those fine features shown. So you'll see that I'll, I'll choose like a 25 micron or, or a 50 micron. It's all a balance between speed and um, fine features and, and how, we want to, how we want to play that game. Finally, you'll see uh, print settings. Uh, this one I often get a lot of questions on. Uh, I'll, I'll usually choose default unless there's a beta settings. Uh, default generally is the fastest. It's the most validated. Um, these settings come from our settings optimization team. Uh, they do a lot of work to make sure we're getting the best general settings for, for these printers, along with the resins that we provide. Uh, beta settings are just a little bit newer, a little fresher. Uh, I often find that they are a little bit faster and easier to remove uh, from the supports in the end. Okay, let's apply. So uh, everything got applied to the scene. Oh, there it is. Everything got applied to the scene, you'll see up here. And now let's import some parts. I'm just gonna import two parts. Um, and pretty snappy. Uh, you'll see that these are STL files. So we currently support STL and OBJ files, but uh, coming up within this year, we're looking to support uh, a few more different options. So keep an eye out on that. Um, I think it's gonna be an exciting announcement. I know a lot of people have wanted some additional file types uh, for importing. Great, so we have a, a, a butterfly clip. So it's our logo, uh, it's a clip. And then we have a wizard, uh, it's just a fun one. Um, let's start setting it up. So when you're setting up models, you're going to use the left side bar here. Uh, these are the tools you'll use. Uh, going from the top to the bottom, you'll have the one-click print, so the, the magic wand. The one-click print is, does everything for you. So you click it once for the models. It'll orient them, support them, and lay them out. And then a print window will show up right away. I often recommend this for a first-time user. It kind of and, and for a bit after that, because you're still trying to learn how to do all these different steps and how to best um, get prints off the ground and, and uh, start learning what, what your preferences are as you print. Um, I'm not gonna go through that one today. I'll, I'll continue down. Uh, next one is size. This is for scaling, um, scaling up, scaling down. Uh, for this case, I'm gonna keep it at 100% scaling, so nothing will change, um, but it is a good tool for some prototyping. Next, orientation. Orientation, uh, it, it does a lot for both supports and kind of the outcome of the print. Um, so many times I like to use the auto orientation tool. Um, this one's an interesting print, this wizard, because I will print it on the build platform. It has a flat surface on the bottom, so I'm going to make the wizard stand up. I can use this select base, and you'll see a little arrow pop out. And boom, it'll just make the wizard stand up. Uh, sometimes it's nice to be able to do that, especially on BP2, so that you can uh, get a cleaner bottom and you don't have all the support tips to clean up afterwards. Uh, for the clip, oh, doesn't matter. Uh, for the clip, I'm going to use the auto orientation. The algorithm will choose a good orientation based on fine features and a few other like flat spaces and um, its knowledge about the printing process. Thank you for tuning into this webinar preview from Formlabs. To view the content in full, please click on the link below. Alternatively, if you'd like to get more information on our products and services, then please visit our website.